What's up YouTube, Henry Chung Fitness here. We are here at Giant Bicycles in Hapjong, Seoul. So the exit five at Hapjong Station and we are renting a Giant uh, TCR SLR1. I believe it's an aluminum bike. It's about 16 point something pounds. Super lightweight rim brakes and we are going to go for a ride. I forgot my mic so apologies for that but we're going to go for a ride along Seoul, along the Hangang River, so let's get after it. so windy here we've just left the main city part it looks like and it's so windy oh my gosh so i took a wrong turn ended up going the wrong way so i had to double back and we are back on route to follow the hangang river and what can i say it's a beautiful day today high of i think 12 degrees or so i'm just wearing a t-shirt under this as well as long sleeve I didn't bring my cycling kit because, you know, I had planned on potentially not being able to come cycling, but time allowed me to get a ride in. So here I am in Seoul, this beautiful city. The infrastructure is amazing. If you ever come here, the subways, tunnels, walkways, etc., everything's just easily accessible. Let me just say that. The bike route along the river that cuts through this whole city basically there are parks everywhere bike lanes cyclists old people young people what have you there are also parks where the elderly mostly work out free public access parks that's free for anyone which is great to see people staying active and just enjoying the outdoors getting that vitamin d and just enjoying community so let me show you the bike soon and we'll be on our way We've got Altegra components and this is a giant TCR SLR Pro, I believe, SLR1, sorry. It's an aluminum frame, extremely lightweight, carbon rim, rim brake wheels, as you can see, mismatched front and back, but uh, these super lightweight cages as well got my Gatorade and yeah it's pretty lightweight it's super lightweight that I can see anyways it says about 7.5 kilograms Look at them go! Lots of wind today. And that looks beautiful. Alright, so for a snack, 
we've got a tuna mayo whatever this is called onigiri or something the triangle kimbap and we'll have that for some carbs and be on our way towards the end this right here is filled with rice and do not do so we got some carbs we got some sodium from the seaweed and the fish quick snack break before we head out this is good so I did bring with me my electrolyte pills 250 milligrams per pill mostly because I couldn't bring anything else really for the ride I did bring some Gatorade low calorie Gatorade I probably should have gotten the one filled with carbs but you know it is what it is these ones because I'm a heavy sweater these ones are a lifesaver trust me on that As you leave the city, it's definitely more open out here, less people for sure. Um, yeah, you can tell this is kind of the outskirts of Seoul. I think we're outside of the city now, so it's a lot less busy, a lot less crowded. And it's nice and open. I like this. So we are in Paldang, Pal Paldang. This is our halfway point, 54.47 kilometers. It is wide open out here and absolutely beautiful. There are fields, there's a mountain in the back up there. The river just opens up and it's rushing. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I, I tell you, something about this place, it's, it's just nice and calm compared to the hustle and bustle of the city and Seoul. So this is a halfway point. I'm going to stop here, grab some food and drink and rest the legs a bit. And then we will be heading back to Seoul. Right back at you.
Got a headwind all the way back, it looks like. Oh, it's windy. Wow. Nice headwind there. Let's get it. This is the kimbap from the convenience store. What a very beautiful scene. I also got a protein bar, Dr. U Pro. It's got 24 grams of protein and it should have carbs as well. I believe it's got, hey, look at that, 200 milligrams of sodium and also 22 grams of carbs. Why do I choose to do these things? I have no idea. 72 kilometers in, about 28 to 30 kilometers to go. My ass hurts. I didn't bring bib shorts or shoes and cleats or pedals. So nevertheless, it's still nice to ride on two wheels. I do miss my Higgy and Trifox, but the roads here are quite flat and nice. Let's go. Twenty kilometers away, my last rest stop and my last triangle tuna kimpa. Okay, so this is my fifth one today. These are Jeju, like Jeju oranges are mini clementines and they're filled with water, tastes great, good for carbs, gives me fuel and they're Korean, try it out, good for fuel. 20 kilometers to go, almost at the 100 mark back to Giant Bike Nara, Bike Nara giant bicycles in Seoul at Hapjung Station. I'm gonna say I'm pooped because I'm coming off of a Halasan hike, Halasan in Jeju, which was about 18 kilometer hike to the top, highest peak of Korea. That was back on Tuesday, I believe. Today's Friday. I don't think my legs fully healed, but here we are. I had to get a bike ride in. What are my thoughts on the Giant TCR SLR1? It is an aluminum lightweight bike, extremely lightweight, probably lighter than my Higgy and Trifox, surprisingly. And Giant has done a great job 
super lightweight. It is fast, feels fast. It definitely is a bit of a harsher ride because of the aluminum, in my opinion. It reminds me of a more refined Cannondale Cat 9 that I used to have. But yeah, this thing feels fast. On the way to Padang, I do believe I was like, holy crap, I'm so fast on this bike. But now that I feel it, it was mostly the wind. But it's definitely a fast bike. I've got flat pedals because I couldn't bring my gear, but nevertheless, just going with it, enjoying the ride. And first Giant that I'm riding. What do I think? I think Giant makes some good bikes based on that, but you know, I'm really looking forward to getting back and riding my Higgy to see how it fares for a longer period. Let's go. Just finished the ride, 100 kilometers done, 4 hours, 24.8 kilometers per hour, and we are back, back at Giant Bike Nana. Alright, so we're done, 100 kilometers to Pantang, and my legs are beat. But if you're ever in Seoul and you want to rent a bike, it's about $50 Canadian, 50,001. And you can rent a bike at Giant Bike Nara here at Hapchang Station, exit number five. Tons of cyclists out there, beautiful weather. Wind was pretty crazy, but nevertheless, it was a solid ride. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll be in Canada, so see you soon. Bye.